What's up guys, we got a big week, it's Monday. We got a big week, we got a big day. I'm getting the exhaust put on the Atom. Haven't driven the Atom for a while, almost like, a, I don't know, six months. Finally getting it put back together. So I gotta move some of this stuff, bring it outside. I'm not gonna drive it there. I'm gonna load up on the trailer. Hopefully it can get on the trailer without dragging the, uh, the, front, uh, the front splitter. All right, so while I'm moving this bike, I, this might be, I hope this is the last time I move this bike. We bought this thing for 600 bucks. There's no key for it. I would have the title for it. Uh, I know nothing about the bike. I was gonna make a project where we rebuild it and put it together and get it running for real cheap. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And now I just don't have the uh, time or energy. So who wants it for 600 bucks? And no strings attached. I don't know anything about the bike. 750, it needs tires, probably needs carbs cleaned. Um, you're gonna have to put a new ignition in it. We do have a title for it. It could be a great bike. It could be locked up. I don't know. 600 bucks. Let me know. Josh, how we doing? Yo, what's up? How are tank strap sales? Tank strap sales booming. Are they? Yeah, we actually have a bunch, bunch of orders. All right, well, once again, this is not gonna work. Uh, it's gonna touch the uh, the front wing. So we're just gonna throw a tag on it. Oh, shoot, I don't have a dealer tag. My dealer tag's at the diesel place. The problem is the car just sits too low. I am getting custom made ramps. These are not, these are not my ramps which hopefully that will allow me to get the car on there. And of course, we're gonna use uh, tank straps to strap this thing down. That's what I use to strap all my motorcycles and my stupid, silly cars. All right, we're all ready to go, let's go. For you challenge coin, we, we shake hands when we give a challenge coin. Okay, okay. So I, the Gosh. way that the whole story goes is that whoever has the highest challenge coin, like Admiral and stuff like that, they don't have to buy drinks for the day. So oh, that's bars, so awesome. But uh, now we just, that's from my command, so I thought I'd stop by. Oh, cool, man. Some other goodies for you, but you're, you're on your way out, but. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I just gotta run, run the Adam to the shop real quick. That's so cool, I got a challenge coin. My very first challenge coin, loving it. Let's go to the exhaust shop. All right, guys, this is Muff Man. This is the best hey. uh, muffler exhaust custom guy around. This came out like right here. It actually hung right down there. And then the rest just went down and around and up. Do, it, do whatever you want to do. I'll, I'll unload it and then okay. just let me know when it's done. I will. So we'll line, line the trailer up and get that thing off the trailer. Let the Muff Man do his thing, then we'll, he'll give us a call and we'll... Uh, can't wait for it to be done. It's going to be awesome. All right, we're back at the shop. I think that military guy is still here. Let's go, uh, let's go meet him, the guy who gave me this. All right, guys, this is Eric. He's a, uh, he's a Navy recruiter. He stopped by, gave me some awesome stuff. He's gonna take me for a ride on this uh, Russian Euro. Woo. How's that feel? Amazing. <laughs> for being Russian. Yeah, right? All right, it's so about four hours later. I got a call. Sent at the, uh, the Adam is done. Let's check it out. What? Whenever I modify this a little more, he can do t uh, make the whole thing two, in two inches and a half, and we can get it done no problem. But right now it's kind of a temporary fix to get me back on the road so I can do some aerial Adam things. Let me go pay my bill and then we'll load this thing back up. had an awesome day yesterday and as you can see the video uh, the video is already out actually this, this the video of what we just did right there is out um, it came out last Friday and it was a blast but I gotta get this I gotta get this thing running to wrap up the rest of the video because it's still kind of running a little goofy all right so before I start to get into work on that to get that thing running better or running. I realized that we were talking a little bit about the Atom uh, and for a lot of people you don't even know what the Atom is. I never really uh, explained it. Um, this is some old video. It's got to me about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. This is a 2007 Aerial Atom 2. It weighs about 1,350 pounds. Very light car. It is street legal. It has a Chevy Cobalt SS motor in it. Actually Jay Leno has this exact same car. This one's number 50. Jay Leno's is number one. 
he, he gets he always gets the number one of everything I don't get anything come on mom so here's some of the stuff I've done with this car uh, I put new tires on of course uh, Toyo proxy r 888 rs the closest thing to a track tire they're so incredibly sticky I also have to redo the rims when I got it, it had a little bit of damage and the damage was right here on the uh, on the front no damage up here that front wing was broken um, I got a new one the tub had a big crack in it I've had that fixed this piece was missing I got that replaced I had to order that from uh, from the UK. This piece was missing. I uh, had this painted. New fenders. I had to reorder new fenders from for the back because they were too small. Got a whole new billet aluminum shifter linkage set. And then what you guys just saw was the exhaust. Here's a lot of the body sit on it. Also, there's a roll cage. Well, why do I have this ridiculous car? It was around 2007 when I saw. I'm, I'm a big fan of Top Gear. I really love Top Gear. I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. And I saw Jeremy Clarkson test drive one of these. Uh, go back, watch the episode, look up Jeremy Clarkson, Ariel Adam. It's ripping his face off while he's driving. And it was like, this is the fastest thing I've ever ridden. It's talking up so much. And I was like, that's what I want. And I, it, it kind of seemed unattainable. One, there's impossible to find. They're really hard to find, but you really, it's hard. To, it's almost hard to touch them for less than like 60. And then the new ones are like over $100,000. We found this thing at 70, 74 auto. And because of that little bit of damage, we got it for less than like 26,000 bucks. And I was like, I got to get that thing. That's a killer deal. And the whole motor had just been rebuilt. The way this car sits right now, we had it dyno at 260 horsepower to the wheels, which is a pretty good power to weight ratio considering that it weighs 1,400 pounds. So zero to 60 in like sub, sub three seconds, like 2.8 seconds. I'm gonna do some more engine work to it. I wanna get it to around 350 horsepower. To just that, That's what's going on with the Atom. You'll see that in some of the videos, just to fill you guys in. All right, so I got new spark plugs, didn't put them in yet. Uh, drained all the oil, draining all the gasoline, I uh, eventually will change the uh, the gear oil. Get all new fluids in this thing. Put the plugs in. Should fire back up. We're also charging the battery. We're this thing running awesome in no time. And the battery is just too dead. I can't even kickstart it. It's just completely unresponsive. I think I left the key on last night, even though I tried to charge it. Let me plug the uh, jump box in there and see if we can get this thing to fire up. Now, I, I really think that the only the main problem was just the plugs. Um, with water getting in there and stuff, they really fouled them out. So, but I think the new plugs are going to make it just run like a beast. Here's some business advice. Successful advice. Uh, a couple years ago, I heard a saying that really, really struck me. And it really changed the way I looked at um, getting stuff done and getting things accomplished. It said, you can almost tell how successful a guy is or a girl is or someone is by how many awkward conversations they've had. And you start thinking about it a different way and you're like, yeah, it is, it is awkward to ask for a pay raise or it is awkward to tell your boss that you're gonna leave and start your own company, <laughs> you know, or something like that. So with that being said, hey Harrison. Um, I was doing some changing on the uh, on the pay plan, and I think instead of paying money, uh, I was gonna pay you animal pelts. Animal pelts? Yeah. I like that. Can I can I like feed them to like rabbits and birds and stuff, or do no, I no, have to not, eat them? Not pellets. Oh, pelts. Pelts. Oh, like like the skins. Like the skins. <coughs> Sounds fair. You'll, I heard there's big money in that. You'll get uh you'll get through it. Cool. <laughs> I heard your mom might be single. Can I get her number? How's this apply to anything? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh. What's good? Yo, you got a second? Yeah, what's up? Yo, me and my wife were discussing this, and we were hoping you'd be the surrogate to our new child. <laughs> yeah, it sounds amazing. I'm in. All right, cool. Hello? Yo, what up, Chris? What's up, Sean? Yo, you got a second? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I was thinking about... um selling my house and seeing if my family can move in with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> and as you guys can see, I'm on the road to success. All right, so a lot of people have been wondering, where's my Harley Davidson? I've been wondering that too. Uh, it's actually at the shop. Uh, we're talking about my uh, my Road King my, uh, the, that I just put a turbocharger on in a couple videos ago. It felt good, but man, it didn't feel like 130 horsepower good. So I was going to get a dyno tune and have them figure it out. I, I go to fire it up and it just didn't fire up. I took it there. He said it was a problem with the mapping. 
And he's like, you were losing tons of boost all over the place. You had a seal that was, that was leaking boost, your gauge was leaking boost, a lot of stuff was leaking boost. And for me, it's like best case scenario. I'm like, so you, it wasn't even close to running at full potential. And he's like, exactly. So that's what I want to hear. That's best case scenario. He's gonna dyno it today. He's gonna get it all fixed and run today. And then hopefully we'll go uh, we'll go pick it up. And I can't wait to see what kind of numbers it is. And I can't wait to test drive it for the first time with full boost. It's gonna be sick. All right, Josh just gave me some epic news. Josh, what are you holding? Epic right there? news. Sending out some pre-orders for gloves. Which What's that is, big thing you got there? These are all pre-orders, baby. These are all uh, wow. packing slips. We got new uh, gloves in. We did get new gloves in. We got uh, XL and double XL right now. We got a box of triple XL coming in for the 508s. There's one more box coming this week of triple XL in the 508s. And then in another like month, we should be getting smalls in. Wow. So. We've actually never had smalls. So we also got the uh, the new color in the 508s coming in. What color do we get? Next month. They're uh, oxblood red. How many do we get? Uh, we got about 100 pair. So it's like a limited All release. Right, so I forgot we did this super, super limited release. There's, there's 99 pair. There's 98 pair. So I'm keeping two of them for myself. Amen. Super, super limited release of an oxblood colored 508. Eights. 508s. Yeah. They're also sweet. They're gonna have the little logo on them too. The little tank logo. I can't wait for that. <laughs> Alright guys, that wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.